Hey guys, welcome back to Dial TV, where we teach you how to do things yourself. So for today's project, uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to reroute your cable box TV cable, or it's called also called coax cable. So here's the deal. Uh, we actually just rearranged our room and our dresser used to be in this area. Our TV was right here. That's why you find that this cable is right here. But what we wanna do is we're going to reroute it to be in this area over here because that's going to be right next to our TV, right next to the cable box and our TV where we want it at. And then that way, uh, you know, we avoid having wires everywhere. It's, you know, you avoid the trip hazard and it just looks nicer. All right. So let's get into it. So first I'm going to just cut this piece off. Like so and I'm actually gonna just stuff this cable down the hole and I'll come back to that in a little bit next step is I got my drill right here and I'm gonna get I'll probably use a half inch size half inch spade bit that'll be it'll be thick enough to um, be able to push the cable through Over here, I'm gonna do a hole. Uh, you can just pick it where you want it at. So I think I want it right there. After you got your hole drilled, like I just did, the next step is use your um, fish sticks. So these come in handy actually. I bought these not too long ago. They were uh, 20 bucks on Amazon, and uh, you just screw these together and make them as long as you need them. Um, so I'm gonna make it about this long. And I, this is gonna help me to pull the cable back up from under the house. So I'll just push it through here until I feel it. Actually, the until I feel it hit, um, Okay guys, for the next part of this video, I actually got my crawl suit ready. Um, this is about a $40 investment and just it just helps to do certain jobs that you need to do under the house. I, I really recommend it. So let me get suited and booted and uh, we'll get to it. Yeah, so here it is with the, the crawl suit on. It's a... Uh, Pretty nifty uh, piece of clothing to have with you and I'm also gonna go down there with my uh, lamp headlamp can't forget that but yeah I just wanted to show you guys the way I do it if you don't have a cross suit like this you can actually just go down there in your regular clothes uh, you could put cardboard down and just crawl on that or you can buy the ones they have at Home Depot or Lowe's and and you use them and you throw okay, them away. guys basically our house is is raised up um, there's actually space underneath the whole house and this is actually one of the entrances so I'm actually gonna take you guys down there with me so you guys can see um, what it is that is done underneath the house this, um, expose the, the entrance Let me see if I can capture this on camera, but I was telling my wife that uh, I won't be down here too long because if you see right there, right there, that green stick, that's the that's the fish sticks that I had pushed through uh, my room. So you see how close that is to the entrance. And basically the cable that I pushed through that hole in the beginning also is just, just over there. Just over there. So, all right, let's do this just takes a little bit of maneuvering. Oh, shoot. Just trying to be careful not to uh, break anything when I'm down here. Uh, you see where I pushed it through? It's right there. So all I got to do is actually just pull this. Just pulling this. The blue sticks right here. Let me see if I can... 
get you guys some footage. Yeah, my wife's pulling on it. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put tape on this, and then she's gonna pull it up. Not yet, honey. Okay, let me do that. Okay, guys, you guys can see I have it taped up. I put a little bit of electrical tape on it, and my wife's gonna pull it up. Go ahead, honey. So she's pulling it through that hole. You can see. You got enough? Yeah. All right, guys, that was it. I'm gonna go back up there and finish up on top. Just before I get out of here, I wanna show you guys what it looks like down here. In case uh, some of you haven't been down here, but look at how freaking crazy it is down here. Yeah, it's not too fun of a place to be in or crawl through or anything, but <laughs> so, you know, how is it gonna be done, man? Yeah, it's dirty, dusty, nasty, dangerous. But you know, it's what has to be done. Okay, guys, I'm back up on top. And as you can see, um, I had my wife up here on this end. And she pulled out plenty of this uh, coax cable. For the next step in this process, uh, I'm going to use my crimping toolkit. Um, I bought this on Amazon for $28. It includes the crimping tool, uh, stripping tool, and it came with the packing connectors. Um, I bought it knowing that I wasn't going to do a lot of it, just a few jobs here and there around the house. So I just felt like $30 was, was enough for me to spend, but um, it depends on your situation. So just do, do accordingly to what, what you're going to do. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my way how I do it. Um, basically, I like to start off with a, a clean piece right here. So it, the end's a little uneven, I'm gonna cut that off. I start off with a clean piece. Okay, so now that I have um, a clean piece to start with, real quick, um, this is not the best quality stripper it actually the part that i want to use right now is right here but this piece broke off so i'm actually gonna have to finesse it with this back piece and i'll show you guys uh what i need to do so i'm gonna go one inch back and i just gotta look at it so i don't cut through it so i just look at it like so and then i just twist it Okay, guys, basically, this is what you want. Can you get a close-up of that? That's what you want. I exposed about, about an inch of the middle copper piece. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut back just the white outer jacket. I'm going to cut back about a half an inch. And once again, um, I'm going to use this back piece right here. And I you need to watch for it that you don't cut um, the, the braided jacket. I'll show you right now but you just do this lightly twist the wire you do enough just to cut the outer jacket and then i didn't cut it all the way so i'm gonna do it just to get on the part where i didn't cut just a little bit and then i pull it out like that so this is the next step you want so you got the exposed middle copper piece and then you got a little bit of this braided jacket exposed and next thing you do is you pull this back away from away from this like uh, aluminum covering if you guys can see it so now from there you get the connector and you see one side is threaded that's gonna be on top right here so you put the blue side in first and you can just sort of like turn it you can feel it going down and I basically want it to go as far as where it's inside. It's like it, it hits the top of it. And it can it can go further down, but you don't want it ex too far down. You want it just right. You'll, you'll notice. So that's how you want it like that. Okay, so once you have it like that, you're ready to crimp. To put it in like so. And just start squeezing.
right there it's good you see the crimp they push the blue the blue piece into the silver piece and i do a little tug test i pull it it looks pretty good and now it's okay if you have a little bit of excess copper because you can actually just cut that off i use the side cutters and there you go i have it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it into the cable box so we can see that, that it works. Okay guys, so there you have it. Um, we have the finished uh, cable. It's already connected to the box. Did you see the TV's on? And that's basically what we want it. So yeah guys, um, please comment, like, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for uh, watching me and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. So for DIO TV, see you on the next one.